I am back from my holiday and this is the first video I'm filming since and I'm so happy to be filming. I really missed it when I was away. Obviously I've lost my voice. Um, we all have, all of us that went on the holiday have like lost our voices. So I'm sorry that I sound like a prepubescent boy for this video but I really want to film today and there's nothing else I can do about it. I thought I would do the makeup that I wore most nights out because um, it is hot in those clubs, like it is hot. I made the mistake the first night of just being like, you know what, tinted moisturiser will do me and I'll be fine. I went to the toilet five minutes in, looked in the mirror and my face was bright red, there was no makeup left on my face and I was like, right, we need something a little bit more hardcore. This is just the makeup I wore that I found lasted and um, I hope it's helpful for those of you going on holiday. I primed my skin every night with an oil control primer because, I mean, literally any step I could possibly take to try and make my makeup last. So I use the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer with oil control benefits and I just popped this all over my face. And as I did it, I was like, come on now, stay on, stay on. Ignore this nail that hasn't been painted. never quite made the cut apparently. All I took was my Double Wear Light in the shade 4 which was my like this is the shade I am when I'm really tan and um, so I'm, it's kind of about a match for me now um, but obviously throughout the week I wasn't as dark as I am now so um, I mixed this with my friend Laura's Estee Lauder Double Wear but now I have my own so I'm gonna make a bit of a concoction of these two shake them up. And I always mix it on the back of my bronzer. I mean, some people say it's gross. Don't care. Buffing it in or patting it in. And I loved doing this while we were away because it was so hot and then this felt so refreshing. Oh, lush. And this stuff really lasted. Like, I went to a foam party. I went to a neon paint party and it was all over my face and when I got home it was like my makeup was still on it obviously it wasn't looking fresh but it was still there and I was very impressed by that so I haven't really put very much on my nose because my nose actually burnt on the first day and started peeling and that happens every year and I don't like how the Estee Lauder Double Wear sits on my nose anyway so I use my concealer on my nose and I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, um, normally I'm in an NC 30-35 to but um, I'm going to use NC 25 as a highlight today. On my nose, like down the bridge of my nose because that's where I like to brighten up and also under my eyes. I don't really highlight extreme when I'm on holiday because I like to look sun-kissed and glowy rather than like sculpted so this is just as a kind of giving my face a bit of shape and a bit of definition and also just to brighten everything up a little bit because if it's all just like tan I can look a bit flat like I just fake hand rather than the natural like shades on your face so those of you who follow me on Instagram I just want to clarify that the um, tattoo on my back it was henna and it wasn't real and um, this is what it looks like now um, it wasn't real <laughs> um, I promise. now the thing that really worried me about this holiday was um, probably my eyebrows because on a night out, I'm not going to be going out without eyebrows on because I don't go out in the day without eyebrows on. So I needed something that I knew would sit tight and wouldn't come off that I could completely trust. I didn't want to have to take my whole HD brow kit on holiday with me because A, it would probably smash and B, it was just really big and I took the smaller suitcase out of everyone. My suitcase was absolutely tiny and everyone laughed at me about it but I didn't need anything else so jokes on you guys. I didn't have room to kill basically and this was the makeup bag I took with me I didn't take anything else I just stuck to one bag so I went back to a really old favorite so if you guys have watched me for a while 
This is like a throwback. I used Brun from MAC, which I used to use. Oh, hang on, my dad's calling me. Hello. Hi. How you been today? Good. Did you go and have a cuddle with the boys? No, I'm filming all day instead. See you later. See you later. Love you. Love bye. you. Bye. bye. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, the brow products I ended up using were my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse. And then I'd set it with Brin from MAC. And then I'd set all of that with my Brow Plumper from L'Oreal. Um, I just did my brows how I always do them. Just with these products. And they held up fan frigging tastically They are starting to grow a bit. Uh, you may not be able to tell. But I've got a lot more little baby hairs at the front because I've been using Rapid Brow and um, I'm finally, it says six weeks it's taken more than six weeks but I'm finally starting to see a bit of a difference which is nice Oh, I just want to be tanned all the time but not fake tan, I want to be real tan all the time I'm so like, oh I feel so much happier look at how I my teeth are Enough of the identity crisis. Have any of you guys been to Magaluf? Because there were some of my friends who were really nervous to go because of what they've like heard about it. Some of my friends were just really excited. I was really excited, I was really up for. It's on the island of Mallorca, if you guys don't know. And um, it's basically, it's known to be like a party town. You don't go there for a relaxing holiday, if you know what I mean. It was actually a lot tamer than I was expecting it to be and I mean that's not a good or bad thing it's just an observation because either way I had a great time nothing really went wrong we had a bit of a mishap a couple hours before the flight one of my friends hurt herself but other than that it was quite like everything just went fine now I move on to the eyes I didn't actually take an eyeshadow primer with me well I took a base but I didn't really use it and my eyeshadow stayed up fine, but if you've got really oily eyelids, then I recommend you use an eyeshadow primer. So I had to use multitasking products because I didn't have much room in my makeup bag. So the first product I took on my eyes was my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. And I took the highlighter and I popped this in my inner corner and I also put it on my brow bone. And this was going to work as my eye highlight as well as my face highlight. I took Woodwinked, Mulch, Gleam and Texture with me and those are all the eyeshadows as well as um, Brun for my eyebrows. So I took um, I took Texture as my crease colour and I just put that into my crease every night. And this is my favourite eyeshadow of like all time. It's just so versatile and looks good on like everybody. Oh, I love it. I love it. Mm. I then took my highlight shade on my finger and I just pressed a little bit of it on the kind of inner third of my lid. I forgot to do that a second ago. I then took a bit of mulch and a bit of woodwinked. Let's go for woodwinked first. So take a bit of woodwinked or woodwink and just apply this onto the center and begin blending it out I then took a bit of mulch to begin darkening out the outer corner so I just wiggled a little bit kind of on the outer third of the eye and this is just like a transition blending it up into my crease it's gorgeous because it's not a lot darker, so it's just a really subtle, soft bit of depth. I then went back into Brun, and I would use this as my darkest outer V shade. So I just popped a bit of this on the very outer part of my eye and it's nice to have a matte shade in there just because it keeps a bit of depth rather than like brightening up your outer corner with some shimmer I 
I wore winged eyeliner, which is quite unlike me. I don't tend to wear it all that often, especially on holiday because it's just heavy. But I really liked how this makeup looked. So I used my Maybelline uh, Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner 24 hour wear. It didn't last me 24 hours, but it lasted me up in the club. Oh, hi. Hi, son. How's it going? I just took the wing liner and no this brush isn't broken, it's meant to be bent, it's from crown brushes and I just find it a lot easier to get the angle of your eye if it's bent for you. So I just did quite a, oh, put some product on the brush then. Quite a big wing because I wore falsies out most nights as well so it's just quite nice to have a winged liner if you're going to wear false lashes. Oh, I want my voice back. so annoying like some people get like when they lose their voice they get like sexy voice and I just sound like I sound like a boy oh and she fucks it falling at the last hurdle Emma real cool real friggin cool what's wrong with you yep. eyeliner is not playing ball with me today I'm very disappointed in it because it was fine every night and then the one day I'm filming it, it goes absolutely catastrophically wrong. But I think I'll get away with it. Um, who is honestly looking at your eyeliner in a club? Let's be real. If you know what I mean. I applied my Roller Lash Mascara because I wanted something that's going to stay. Stay held and proud. And then for falsies, every night basically I wore my Ardell. Demi Wispy lashes. And then on the bottom lashes, I used my L'Oreal Miss Manga Punky because I just like how much volume it gives me. But before I did that, <laughs> I forgot, I um, put a bit of woodwinked underneath my lash line because I like my lash under my eyes to look really bright and not really heavy. Because I want to look fresh but doll eyed. When was that there? <laughs> what was that? Everything's going wrong today. I then set under my eyes with my um, translucent mattifying powder, one heck of a blot from Soap and Glory. And I just took a Real Techniques blush brush. I've already hit pan on this and it's very, very new. I use this every day. So I'm just putting this under my eye to set my concealer. Just on the high points of my face. I then use my absolute, my holy grail bronzer for holidays. I've now discovered my Bobbi Brown bronzer in media. Uh, no, what's the color? Natural one. It is perfect for me on holiday because it is so red tone. And the first kind of few days of holiday, I go really red and then I turn quite olive. Um, but because I was only away for a week, my skin hasn't really gone all that olive yet. It's still quite pink. I just started on my cheek. Okay, and then I wore blush. At the beginning of the week, I started with my cream puff blush in nude mauve, and by the end of it, I got onto alluring rose, um, which is kind of like um, what's it called? Uh, Warm Soul from Mac. It's gorgeous. It's like a bronzy shade, so it's like it it just kind of blends in with all the bronzer and stuff. It's really pretty. So I just. Added this. Finally, for my skin surprise, it's a bloody prize. I took my Charlotte Tilbury from Film Start Bronze and Glow, and I just put that on my skin. It's just so stunning. If you've not tried this, I highly recommend it. Um, most nights I wore my Pillow Talk lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like I've used that quite a lot in videos recently, though. I don't want to bore you. I'm going to use Kinda Sexy from MAC which is a peachy nude colour. Okay, I don't remember where I was because my sister knocked on the door and I'm gonna go and cook cake with her. So I'm gonna end the video here. Um, this should last you all night, hopefully. And if I say that, then it will because I'm a sweaty, sweaty person. So as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
all of my links and products used are down below and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs> my voice, that was so pathetic.